Hello there, welcome to GB Posters. I am not GB Posters. GB Posters isn't an entity. It's not actually, well it is, a, it's a team of human beings, but I am not, my, I, I'm not Chris and GBPosters.com. Nice to, no, my name is Adam. Hello. Hello. Today, I'm going to be doing a movie review. A movie review. I've never ever done a movie review. I can't even say the word right. Movie review. A movie review! I've never ever done one. So if I get things wrong, I will get things wrong. But the lovely people at GBPosters.com said, Adam, would you like to do one? And I said, do you have a Star Wars poster? They said, of course. I said, then I would love to. So I thought, to kind of get myself going, I'd do an old classic. Rat race. I've also got a little cup of coffee. So if you hear me slurping, coffee is not like heroin or something weird. It does taste a bit heroin -y though. So, where do we begin with Rat Race? Rat Race was made in 2002, and it's probably one of the purest memories I have of myself watching a film and interacting with the comedy and going, this is hilarious. Now, it's not clever. It wasn't really that much of a success, but it's perfect. It's, in, in my mind, as a comedy film, it's perfect. And I don't think anything has really been done to this extent since. The only things I can think of are probably The Hangover. The Hangover is probably the biggest comedy I can think of. But it's not even funny, The Hangover. You can, you've can you got your own opinion, but I, I don't think it's even that good. Why isn't The Hangover as good as Rat Race? Well, because there is a, 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 a ton, a ton of really funny people in this film. You've got Rowan Atkinson, John Cleese, John Lovett, Cooper Gooding Jr. Uh, who else? I'm gonna read it. Seth Green, Whoopi Goldberg, Amy Smart, Brecklin Mayer. I don't know who Brecklin Mayer is. And it's from the director of Jerry Zucker, Aeroplane and the Naked Gun. Aeroplane would then go second on this list of great comedies, by the way. That's the kind of person I am. I like, I like good slapstick stuff. So what is Rat Race? What is Rat Race, essentially? Basically, the story is very simple. A group of absolute strangers are pulled together by the power of gambling. Maybe not the power, maybe the curiosity of gambling. Some are more experienced, some are complete amateurs at it. They all do one thing, they put one coin into a slot machine and they all win a magical little shinier gold coin than all the other gold coins. They are then all pulled together by rich eccentric billionaire John Cleese, but he's called Donald Sinclair. And Donald is eccentric! <laughs> That's in the film, I'm not just nuts. They are then in the ultimate rat race. They are all racing to Silver City, New Mexico to find a locker in an old police sheriff place. To find a locker. Inside that locker is a duffel bag. Inside the duffel bag is two million dollars. <coughs> so initially they all kind of dismiss the idea like, this is nuts. But then they kind of realise, we, that's two million dollars. We could, two, mi two million dollars! And I won't spoil the end of it because I really recommend that you do go and watch it. But it's got some fantastic comedy performances. Rowan Atkinson, for a start. Rowan Atkinson plays Enrico Polini, who has no extended family at all, is completely alone, and has narcolepsy. So Enrico will just fall asleep. He will just fall asleep in the middle of a thought, a, a whatever, a race. There's also a special mention to Cuba Gooding Jr. And this is one of the reasons why this film was so impactful in my childhood. He made the funniest scene. All that more funnier by not swearing. By the, And I, I've got good respect for this. I'm a massive fan of comedy. I love comedians. I love... Uh, like short film comedy, I love theatrical comedy, I love anything. And the fact there is no swearing in this film, but the only obscene word in this film is given to Cuba Gooding Jr. when he has to convince a bus driver that his wife is giving birth, he doesn't have a wife, and he has to persuade him to lend him his hat to cover up his wife's vagina. <laughs> so yeah, that was it. That was kind of my review of Rat Race. I didn't really want to spoil the end. I, maybe in the next one, if I, I don't know what you really expect on this channel. Also, Seth Green gets hit in the face by a cow. As always, if you would like to buy any film merchandise or goodies or posters, you can head on over to gbposters.com. And if you use the discount code ADAM20, you'll get 20% off. 20! 20%! Ha! Huh. So yeah, I've been Adam, and this has been gbposters.com. Toodaloo!